Hello, and welcome to the Pearl of the Adriatic, Dubrovnik, Croatia. Known as one of the world's finest and most preserved medieval cities, Dubrovnik stands proudly as an everlasting inspiration to many visitors interested in fine architecture, history, crystal clear sea, and magnificent views. I can say a lot about Dubrovnik, but I will try to keep it short. Dubrovnik has been on the UNESCO World Heritage Protection List since 1979. The Dubrovnik Republic, once a state on its own, was first of the foreign countries to recognize independence of the United States, and also one of the first European states to abolish slavery. Oh, and one more thing from the most recent history, for those who did not know it, Dubrovnik is also known as King's Landing. Its beautiful scenery served as one of the main filming sets for the worldwide known series Game of Thrones. But it is not just an old sleeping beauty surrounded by stone city walls. Dubrovnik offers lively content in various segments of life, and even though it is relatively small, its location enables you to easily explore other Croatian regions and surrounding countries too. And in this city, RIT decided to open its first global campus in Croatia in 1997, thus offering high-quality American education in this part of Europe. Hi everyone, I'm Jayla. I'm a junior student here at RIT Croatia's Dubrovnik campus, majoring in web and mobile computing. Today, I love to welcome you here to our Dubrovnik campus that's just a three minute walk from the entrance to the old town. It's so close that even this building is protected by the UNESCO World Heritage. At RIT Croatia, in both Zagreb and Dubrovnik, we have over 800 students coming from all over the world. Most of them are from Croatia and the immediate region, but a lot of them come from places like the United States, Canada, New Zealand, and many more. At Dubrovnik, currently we have over 250 students majoring in either web and mobile computing or hospitality and tourism management. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the atmosphere that we usually have here, full of students, due to the pandemic that we have to obey all the restrictions, but I'll try to do my best and show you the campus. So come in. I'll show you our student reception desk, the place that you first see whenever you come to the campus. But first, all right. So at the student reception desk, we have our lovely alumni, Anna. She's your go-to person for anything you need. From certain documents, information about our staff or faculty, even if you just need to borrow a pen. She's the kindest one here. Next is one of our lounge areas. This is where you can find pretty much any student anytime they're free during the day. We love to come here and hang out with our friends, sometimes even study. These couches are so comfortable, you're gonna love it. I'll show you around in the SG office, just behind the wall. This is the student government office. Our student government currently counts about 12 members, representatives from each year level. Those are the people who probably want to help you the most. They're also students themselves, so they know your struggle. You can come here anytime you have an issue or you want to start a new initiative at our college. If you want to join or create your own club, this is the place to come. I'll show you the first floor now. So this is where some of our classrooms and faculty rooms are scattered. The room number 11, there's currently a class there, so I'm not really going to show you much, but you can see some of our students in there. This is room 15, one of our typical and bigger classrooms. It's equipped as any of our classrooms with top technology that our students can use pretty much any class they have. Just behind me, you can see the Polycom system. It's really cool because it allows us to communicate with our Zagreb campus and have most of our classes online. Amazing in today's world. Our professors are always available for their students. If you have a problem or simply a question you want to ask them, you can always find them through email or Zoom. Currently, all our office hours are held virtually, but usually our professors are in their office. Let's check if Professor Cherry is there right now. Hi, Professor Cherry. How hey, are you? Hey, Jayla. I'm good. How are you? 
I'm good, thank you. You know, I haven't seen you since so long, since the end of last semester, since our literature course. Yeah, I wanted to thank you for the lovely feedback that you gave me on our assignments. Oh, you're welcome. I miss seeing you. What are you up to now? Well, I'm currently working on the virtual tour for our campus. Would you like to say something to our viewers? Oh, sure. Um, my name is Professor Cherry. I've been teaching here at RIT Croatia at our Dubrovnik campus for almost 20 years. I teach a um, variety of different courses, English, which you can probably tell is my native language. Um, so writing, uh, literature, and also a research course. Um, and one of the things I like best about my job is actually getting to know students like Jayla, um, especially you know from their participation in class, from their discussions, and um, getting to see them sort of semester after semester, year after year, and watching them sort of develop and grow. Um, you know, Jayla is a great student because she's very active in uh, all the class discussions. But even for students who are more quiet people, um, I can get to know them through office hours, um, either in person when a uh, situation allows or virtually um, on Zoom. And I just think those are really great opportunities for me and for students um, to give them a little one-on-one -on -one attention, whether it's going over their papers, uh, like a draft of a paper before they submit it and getting some individual feedback or asking questions about something they're confused about in class, maybe clarifying an assignment, um, and just sort of sometimes just chatting and letting me get to know them a little bit so that I can um, help them in an individual way. That's so wonderful. Thank you so much, Professor. Okay, nice to see I'll you. I'll see you around. Enjoy the rest of your tour. Thank you. Let's go, I'll show you some more. This is one of our three computer labs. You can come here to work on individual or group projects, even if you have some research to do for class. It's open on weekends, so that's great if you have some last minute assignments that you forgot about. We always have a student helper that's here working in the lab and is gonna help you with any of the problems that might occur. Today, we have Alexa. Hi. Let's continue with our tour. This is our on-site library. It is a little bit small, but we really don't need a bigger one, since all RIT Croatia students have access to RIT's Wallace Library. It's an online library that holds over hundreds of thousands of books, journals, and research papers that we can use throughout our course of study here. At our library, you always have a student librarian helping you with anything that you might need. A lot of our students work part-time at RIT Croatia. I, myself, am a tutor for lower year levels. This means that I help students excel in a course that I took in the previous year. Here we have the perfect example of how Croatians use every bit of space they can find. This is the smallest lounge area, also known as my favorite hiding spot. There's my colleague Philip studying. Hey Philip. Let's continue our tour. Right now, we're in the teaching lab on the third floor. Behind me, you can see our friend, the Polycom. This machine helps us have joint classes between campuses. I have most of my classes here as a web and mobile computing major. However, some of the classes for the hospitality and tourism management are also held here. Since we have a lot of computers and space, all of our students can study using the latest technologies. This is our quiet computer lab. Here, you can come whenever you need a more peaceful environment just to study and really focus on the work that you're doing. Come, take a look around, but we're gonna try to keep it short not to disturb these guys. This is the admissions office, your first contact here at RIT Croatia. They're the ones who give our potential students all the information they need, and they're last push to come here. Hey guys! So right now we're going up to the fourth floor, which is where one of our bigger lounges is located. 
This specifically is where our international students love to hang out because the view of the Dubrovnik city walls is just there. Also on this floor we have most of our staff offices, so let's go see if somebody's there. This is our academic advising office. I come here whenever I have questions about my academic journey. Ms. Rajenka Franic is our senior academic officer. Hi Ms. Rajenka, how are you? Hi Jill, I'm doing fine, thank you. Would you like to tell us a bit more about what actually it is that academic advising does for students? Uh, sure. You just mentioned that the, uh, your academic journey and I am here to help all, every student with their academic journey. I help students uh, to be successful, to be academically uh, okay. If I notice that they struggle academically, then we have our meetings and anyhow I have regular meetings with all students in order to check if they are on the track and I also help them plan their schedule and actually I do uh, everything in order to make them uh, feel comfortable and uh, that they are never ever lost uh, uh, not knowing what will happen in the next academic year or which courses they have to take. Thank you so much. Mr. You are welcome. This is where a few of our staff offices are located. Finances, Career Service, and International Student Office. RIT Croatia is very career focused, which means that from day one, we're trying to figure out what we want our careers to be and how we want them to start. What really helps with this is the career opportunities presented to us by the Career Service Office. All students are required to work a minimum of 800 hours during their time here at RIT Croatia. Besides that, what really helps is the guest lectures that we have very often. Most of the guest lectures are actually RIT Croatia alumni, which really helps us see where we will be once we graduate. We also have a lot of opportunities to study abroad. Here we have Christina from the International Student Office. Christina, could you please tell us a bit more about these opportunities? At RIT Croatia, we encourage our students to make the most of the study exchange opportunities that we offer. They include spending a semester at our main campus in Rochester, Dubai or Kosovo. We also have some really exciting summer programs and the Europe-based Erasmus Plus program. Since we have a lot of international students, could you tell us how the International Student Office helps them? We are very student-centric and we approach each one of our students individually. We assist the students through the temporary stay permit process we assist them with finding adequate housing and we also assist them to integrate into the community. The reason I chose RIT Croatia is because I truly felt that it was different from day one. I love the fact that once I graduate, I'll have two diplomas, both an American one and a Croatian one. Even from my sophomore year, I knew that everything I've learned here would change my life. And it kind of already has. My hard work and commitment have truly paid off, and they've even evolved at RIT Croatia, and so have I. I hope that we've been able to show you at least a little bit of what RIT Croatia truly is. Thank you so much for watching this video, and once the circumstances allow, please come join us. We'd love to meet you.